Hello everyone, uh, fall is in the air and we're excited here at Corinth Elementary School about everyone coming back for a very uh, successful second nine weeks. We had a very successful first nine weeks as we uh, learned how to have school uh, during a COVID-19 era and we are now uh, ready to start the second nine weeks. I want to talk to you about a few things here uh, as we uh, come back on Monday. We will uh, talk about safety and school procedures. We'll talk about our food service program, and we will talk about our community book read uh, project that we'll have going uh, as soon as we come back. So let's begin with uh, school safety. We will be following the same procedures at Corinth Elementary School that we did when we uh, dismissed school for fall break. We will continue to wear masks, we will continue to eat in classrooms, and we will continue to clean and sanitize for your child's safety uh, as we have been. So I ask of you, make sure that your child Monday morning uh, leaves home with a good clean mask uh, that they can wear throughout the school day. Uh, make sure that if your child is uh, sick or has any type of symptoms of illness, that you consult our school nurse and talk to her before sending them to school. Uh, we will be taking temperature checks as we have been, uh, but you are the best screener of your child's health. You know if they're not feeling well, we need to uh, communicate with each other before they get on that school bus or they're dropped off here at school uh, to make sure we uh, continue to have a safe environment here at school. If your child is sick and has to miss school for a doctor's appointment for any other reason, a uh, doctor's excuse is not necessary but we do need you to provide a parental excuse. You can do this through communicating with your teacher, uh, sending an email to your teacher, or sending them a message via remind. Uh, but the fastest way that goes directly to our uh, secretary, Ms. Danita, here in the office is to use the online excuse. Uh, and that is available on the current school district website. Uh, just simple steps that you can excuse your child if they've been off, but we do have to still have a parent excuse if your child is out of school, so help us out with that. Food uh, program is going great here. We now are in a program where we have free breakfast and free lunch for all students every day at school. We do the get and go breakfast, which they pick up and take to their classroom, and that's been very successful, uh, and we are eating uh, in the classroom for breakfast and again at lunch. Any child who wants to order a, a lunch from the cafeteria can do that, and those are free. And in addition now, we have gotten, we're very excited about our school fruit grant. We'll have a fruit or vegetable type snack for every child every day here at school, uh, like we did last year. We've gotten a renewal of that grant, so we're pleased and pre appreciate all the efforts that went into making that happen. Children will receive that. Uh, in the classroom as well, uh, so they can have that for their afternoon snack. The last thing to talk about is uh, in terms of our community book read. Uh, here's the book that we will be using, Fenway and Hattie. Uh, Fenway and Hattie is what we're using here in the school district and is part of the community book read project going on across the state of Mississippi. This is a great book. I've enjoyed reading it. Uh, it tells a, a great story and we uh, can learn a lot from that. And you as a family can get more involved in your child's education by participating in this project. So we want every elementary child with their family, we'll be doing some things here at school, uh, talking about it, having uh, that part of our program every day on the morning announcements, uh, and then reading it and working together in the classroom. But again, this is designed for you to work together as a family, read the book, read with your child, and model good learning uh, for them in, in the home. Uh, so we'll finish with that. We're looking forward to a great second nine weeks. We're going to continue uh, academic growth here at Corinth Elementary. That's our focus this year. Take the children where they are and continue to learn and grow. And as we meet challenges to come and, and understand how to deal with challenges that exist presently, We'll all work together. Thank you for all your help. We look forward to seeing you this coming Monday, October 19th, as we return to school from fall break.